because she's cute and pretty and fat. Me say, yo. Nobody's supposed to be here. Tell them we inject the police and with the injection needle. Oh, it's warlord and it's forward and come searches. Hey yo, yellow! What? Swiss meat! Go get a rotted Chris wheat! Hey yo, yellow! Timberland! Oh yes, and fishing it, being a man, another guy in England. Hey yo, yellow! You know it's warlord, the sky star general. Oh, them said, fool forget five star funeral. Them blood run like mineral. Hey yo, yellow! How them are up with? Pull it, pull it, pull it! People who are watching right now, if you're watching, ensure that you like. It's my birthday. I have to just like for my birthday and also to leave a comment. Okay, share the video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, and I have to say big up to the burritos then because last week we set a target to be the 800 um, live viewers and we actually accomplished it. We, we passed 800, we passed 900, we passed 1,000. So we had over 1,000 burritos watching the social media countdown and the premiere last week. I'm going to say, yo, congratulations. That was one of the best pre-birthday presents we could have ever asked for and so big one up oh my gosh um for the burritos them you know like thank you for the message i'm sure them are coming still and for the who who feel like you don't want to come give me a little present sometime i'm going to ask for like a dutch pack i really want that the only thing would i say any little tips and little something i want to come give for the little little the little dancing and whining i'm going to go down there is a, a dollar sign in a live chat so you can use there or if anything you can send me something via paypal yeah PayPal, yeah, and, 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 my, and my name is DutchBearShow at gmail.com. Okay, so what if things go on this week? All right, let me just say, it's not really that much, but we have to talk about the big excitement, the elephant in the room. Okay, so let's get into this birthday edition of the social media countdown. <laughs> The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth. Like, yo, hey, box cover, and cover all the topics like a evening. Pot cover, mix up, blender, all them suck me, I will have me not a week, yo, just tune in. Zin. Number 10, when Marshall and Tommy go viral. <laughs> My word, my sentence, my paragraph. So, one of my favorite couples, Jamaican couples overall, is Tommy Chin and Wayne Marshall. Now, they've been together for a long, long time. Long, long time, them day. I know I'm glad that they have reached a point in a relationship where they feel comfortable to, you know, show show, show more of them day-to-day -day activities with the masses. And so, you know, Tommy Chin, she has started her YouTube channel, her YouTube journey, and I am loving the content so far. Like, the family moments is just mwah. Magnifico! It is beautiful! It is amazing! It is muy, 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 muy wonderoso! You know, it is all of these things. And recently she posted a video with, with her and Ray Marshall kind of detailing exactly how they meet. And Marshall, Marshall, I believe you 100%. Take a look. Rotate yeah. now and people start like them and God, love they them. Loved it. And then now, uh, school tour, um, RETV school tour. and. I tell a lot of people, I write this, so she start look, look me hard. And I was just like, yo, chill. You know what I mean? You're right? so... So, like, no, here's wait, what happened. No, wait, wait. Huh? Let the people know when you're joking. Like, you, you're holding that together, but you need to let them know <laughs> no, no. when you're joking. I was serious. Me, did I look hold you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me, hold on. good, good me. Remember, remember. Me, did I look you? Shh, shh, shh. Calm down, calm down, okay? Let me talk the thing or the real thing. Me was not I want to tell you something. Should I drink some scotch before so we could have gone into the real nitty gritty, but... I got dust for, dust for, you understand? I got going, I think. Yeah, man, going, I So, watch this now. Imagine 35 people on one bus. Mm. And every time she find herself, come sit down right me side of me. Me find myself waiting to the God right honest truth. Side of uh, me. No way. See? And then it become this whole conspiracy upon the bus say, yo, Wayne and Tammy is like, yeah, yeah. 
a joke. She never did that look me like that, you know, but in I wasn't looking at all. You know what I mean? I wasn't, and, no, you know, I'm going to a joke. No. What should I know? <laughs> This feels so. Zines are from them times. They know me kind of realize. Say, That's Yo. not even true. Nobody, I was not Shirts looking you, but we did. We did. <laughs> no, honestly, I just love this couple. There's so many couples who are about the place, but Wayne and Tommy Chin, they them just have something. It, it, I don't know if I describe it. It just so, feels so down to earth, so pure. It's like them, they're, they're actually best friends, which is weird. It's, I mean, I know. It's, it, it, I want a special type of love. And every, everybody buck up them people here, but you can tell so they are each other's favorite person to talk to. And so that should be celebrated. And boy, oh boy, I just love this couple. Wayne is a, is a good you. Tommy Chin is an article girl. And so the two of them come to, together. It is just muy magnifico. Say it with me. Muy magnifico. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> if you are following Wayne, um, Wayne and Tommy Chin on them vlog channel, make sure say you, you know, left a comment and when you watch little stuff them and let me know what do you like about this couple so much sound off below mm -hmm. All right, so last week I dropped the Duro with Dotty with Crystal Tomlinson, and this week I'm dropping a brand new Duro with Dotty vlog featuring Dalton Harris. So make sure so you check it. It's going to be at 8 p.m. on my YouTube channel. Yes, we'll go on YouTube. Welcome to another. Welcome back to another Dotty Berry countdown. No, it's not like, a countdown. This is a Duro with Dotty. Look at this. Look at this. Be very. Alrighty. Number nine, grateful TikTok. Make a cost bag. <laughs> Alright, so last week I, you know, talked about the, the uh, his name, Mr. Kemar. He was the grateful man who did a tank and all and the people who give him the, you know, the, the, the food items and the, the household items. So he could have better take care of himself in the middle of this whole entire pandemic and him to go viral because of just how grateful and sincere he was. I thank you, Andrew, and for the local money. I'm asking people up on the road. And it take time to look at money and Andrew on his go no. Look at come on the money Andrew on his go and mass and people if you take time with it. Don't use it by a rum and don't use it by a cigarette. Henty who? So I also mentioned in the countdown somebody do want to see somebody do a TikTok of this brother. And it looked like say, you know, the universe and God answered my prayers in the name of a, a young lady by the name of Danae Black. And yeah, she did several, several different TikTok videos. Um lip lipping, lip syncing her, you know, mouthing to what Kemar had done. Good afternoon, people. I want to thank you, Prime Minister for Jamaica, Andrew Ones. I ask him to thank you for the corona money when you give to people. How you know how you know how you know the bank book? You can go rest you and can collect the money. I'll try the idea and it's your hand. I would have them bank I would have them bank here can go to the bank go the bank to draw the money. <laughs> I mean, I know the girl actually can you know, like she just captured the whole of the man demeanor, his whole entire vibe, all the little movement, I move mouth like him kind of. Uh. Bless him, just bless him. And who must when you want to bless him? Because he me come my kids in time, poor, poor, poor. And I say, he look at me and give me full stuff. If I need him, I'm not deaf, I'm going like dead dog. People, and if go on, take it easy. Good people. Me, 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 me want to thank Andrew Olnish. And the people, me, 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 me grateful. You must be grateful. You must be grateful. Me grateful for my countdown. I'm, I'm a grateful for the burritos them. Because enough people don't have, have any subscribers at all. And me have over 200,000 subscribers. So me have to be grateful. So when you watch the countdown, make sure that you like, you comment and you share. Because some people mean and them don't want to share when they watch the live. But me I tell you people, you must like the video when you're watching Dirty Berry. I won't leave a hard work in putting night people. I know not easy something to get up every day and I put in the video them people. <laughs> Why did I get that off the top of my head? Like, I do not know. Honestly, oh boy, boy. I feel like, yeah, but definitely I'm mad. Probably because of my birthday. Oh my gosh, I don't know. If you're watching, make sure you say a like. Okay, and as usual, watch the ads. Them. At least watch both two of them. Good God, you know. Yes. Anywho, um, what you have to say about um, Danny's, Danny's, I hope I'm pronouncing her name, Miss Black's TikTok videos, make sure you say follow her on TikTok and you know, it's very commendable. Big up yourself and it was, you know, well executed. Mm -hmm. Shen Yang a noise. 
me mother wear. What? Anyhow, sa dancehall artist Shensi, you know that she's a mother and her, her son's name is Rajero. So anyhow, you know, Shensi and Rajero, they're always posting pictures and videos on the gram, kind of showing how they have a very unique mother and son chemistry. So I guess this video is once again proving pro proving that theory with um, Shensi sitting beside Rajero and I guess Imadu film thing and she decided that so she's going to um, be a little um, annoyance in her life, see how much you can aggravate him and how he would react. <laughs> Take a look. How did you get here? Nobody's supposed to be here. Nobody's supposed to be here. Die, 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 die. How did you get here? That's too loud. Nobody's supposed to be here. Ah, <laughs> the fact that Rogero actually said that she should be considered is just muy magnifico. It is, it is brilliante. It is, it is super Mario. Well, why am I talking like that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, like you kind of says Rogero, he's not idiot. He is not no clone. He is Arno Chris. The man is very intelligent. Him know him. I talk about the man I use word consider. No, honestly. I AIS game go. Like a way, way go. Kind of no word more than two and three and four syllables, you know, like, yeah, have to come in there for something there. And boy, oh boy, shouldn't say out loud to you alone with it. Who is singing in them is? Be considerate! What you thought about this burritos? Has your appearance ever bothered you like this? Are you appearing to sometime when you're on your picnic like this? Sound off below. I'm going to talk to represent for Dutty Bears. I don't want to talk to represent for Dutty Bears. I'm going to have to talk to you. Okay, no, the thing go. We're not going to use IP to get with the thing. All right, so burritos have to go and pick up a website by the name of gradeamask.com. You know, it's Corona time now. And you see, on this website, you can go and get your disposable mask. That is your KN95 and your face shields. Now, the company, they're located in Florida and they deliver all over the world, including the Caribbean. So if it's Trinidad, if it's Tobago, if it's Grenada, if it's wherever in the, in the Caribbean region, the US UK and Canada, you can get the supplies. Now, right now, you can get a 10% discount discount if you use a discount code Dutty Berry. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're also interested in buying masks and face shields for resale, you can go up on the wholesale section of the website and send an email request. Right about now, I'm going to try to add my mask because the little COVID thing looks like it's not done for now. And we're going to need more masks from now till probably Dan Kingdom, Dan, Dan Kingdom come. Okay, so the website is gradeamask.com. Please go and go add it. Use a discount. discount. Why well, we can't pronounce the word? Discount. Discount code Dutyberry and get a 10% um, off. And take care of yourself right now because honestly, I don't want no other burritos them for going to lose them life because of this disgusting little thing called Rona. Okay, all right, that's it. Number seven, who wants to be a millionaire? Me De Niro. Oh my gosh, enough people know that De Niro mean money, you know, but may I tell him I'm bright. Me educated. Right now, ask me something in Spanish and look if I can't tell you. Honestly, ask me something in Spanish right now on the live. Two, what time is it? Are you hungry? See, me I read in the mind, honestly. Me I read in the mind. Get you, get you, yeah, yeah, moko chocolata, real lady, mamo, oh, that's a French. <laughs> Alright, so who number seven, who wants to be a millionaire? So, you know, I saw this video on TikTok recently and it featured this man. I guess he was on a game show. I don't know where it come from, but it looked like the format was kind of similar to the American television game show that is called um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That was made famous by its host, Regis, Regis King or Regis Kelly. I can't remember the man name right now. But anywho, so this brother, this contestant, he was asked, um, you know, where, which Caribbean country? Ochorios. Be? And this brother decided to, um, uh, um, let's just say it got more complex because he said that he is from Jamaica. Take a look. Ocho Rios is a popular tourist destination on which Caribbean island? St. Lucia, Jamaica or Trinidad? So I'm from the Caribbean. Great, whereabouts? Uh, Jamaica and St. Kitts and Nevis. Uh, right. Just a small island. Yeah. Um, but I've never heard of Ocho Rios. And for some reason, I'm not thinking it's Trinidad. And I think St. Lucia, just because of the Lucia bit, sounds a little bit Portuguese slash Spanish. Um, and Ochoas Rio sounds Spanish slash Portuguese. But I think based on that logic, I'm going to go with St. Lucia, please. All right, we're going to line up St. Lucia, please. Ocho Rios. Is it a popular tourist destination on the Caribbean island of St. Lucia? Jamaica! Oh it's goodness. Jamaica! I should have learned that. Oh gosh. From the northern coast of Jamaica. Wow! Wow! You had one job. You know, you could answer the question and people give you a pass if you never did just for go inform the world that you are from Jamaica. You never have to own up your Caribbean identity right there. So, you know, 
They never they gonna give you an extra bonus point because they say you Caribbean, you know. You could have just like Bill and Chill, but you decided to make the world know that you are actually from Jamaica and um you're Caribbean. So therefore people expectation is up your so and where did you go? Right down there, so back a back to right at the little the little roof riff raff pump somebody heel back. That is what you gave. That is the answer that you gave. Come on now, two options. You had what oh my oh Jesus, it's not even like them say Saint Elizabeth. Is that what the little popular part them um Jamaica where most stories normally know? Come on, man, brother. But anyway, big up yourself, same way, yeah. Uh, let me know what you thought of this burrito sound up below. Number six, my plans versus 2020. <laughs> Man, what is this? <laughs> All right, so going viral on Twitter was this. Um, I don't know if I was called it one of the memes there, where basically it is called uh, my plans and 2020. So over one end, when it's a my plans, it shows the the potential that people have. People, you know, that have the best hopes for one option, and then I'm showing some piece of crass is just land and just stop all of that goodness from happening. So my plans versus 2020. Okay, and trust me, some of the memes them that people came up with were just muy brilliant. Yante muy magnifico. No, that has to be the word of, of this song coming down. Like, say it with me, burritos. Muy magnifico. Write it in the comments. Muy magnifico. That is what this entire um whole meme vibe was. So let me just show you um a little couple and then we can um give you a little reel of a couple of them. So one was Kiprich <laughs> versus telephone. Now, if you're a little bit older, you know that the telephone is much of Kiprich life. <laughs> And then another one of you know the you know the, the, the generation Z, a Z R X, and the millennials them. You have Chris, boy, your boy, all the boy, I try to live him like a good life with him, woman. And then you have governor over here, so just a mash it up, wreck the man business in a 2020. All right, so check out this 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 montage of the rest of the memes. Burritos, I want you to let me know in the live chat and in the comments which one of the memes them take the cake for you. Sound off below. Mm -hmm. Number five, viral pics. My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my photographer. Oh, all right, so there are like two pictures and one for feature on the countdown this week that I felt like went viral. Now, the first picture is a picture of Intense. Now, it surfaced basically showing Intense back in the day when it looked like say, he was like a teenager. He was like probably going through puberty and he looked like, you know, him have different pigmentation. It was before he had started bleaching, kind of showing him with a, you know, a way, way, way more melanin than he has now. Take a look at Intense now. And now look at Intense before. Oh wow, hashtag just hilarious. Wow. Um, okay, um boy, people may not even want to go in the comments there because when me I tell you, you know, man, I do not know when Jamaican people right now I'm gonna take some no social media page must post a picture of intense. Because I feel like intense just have a tribe of haters where them just want to know something post about him and him wrote them wrong go down there and decide so they might just read the bread of the field. Like I me not know, and as far as me see, intense just minding business. Him just lay low. Me not seem really in you know, a one bag of things are uh, picking a drama or nothing like that, but for some reason. The haters them just always are finding him. Just boy, I, I honestly, me, honestly don't know. Up until this point, I just think that boy, I look a little bit too bad right now. They even, you know, I think Tropics are one of them page I posted a picture of him and him girlfriend dancing ripple. And the comments them just gone at it again. Me have to say, Jesus, and them people are really not bad at nobody, you know, man. Good gosh, I mean, it is it, it, it funny I uh, entertaining at one minute, but no, I'm just like, you know, can't probably, you know, like, give the people them a little break, no, man. Bad, bad. But, you know, come on. <laughs> and on the other end of the spectrum, you had this photo shoot that I guess could have called went viral with Dr. Christopher Tufton. Um, he was styled by bootleg rockstar. I'm mean, calling him name because bootleg rockstar do not have um, him a ramp. We're getting him credits, 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 and all of these things. And the photographer, right about now, I remember the brother's name, but give me a sec. And the photographer, I am Dale Samuel. So I think they did a great job. The pictures, them look, you know, clean and nice. And it actually show Chris, Christopher Tufton looking a lot more, what you call it? Not that they need no more relatability, but it just show him in a more, you know, youthful and fun and engaging type of type of vibe. And it definitely did capture that. So yeah, big up the picture there. And not to mention the thirsty woman that jumped out on Twitter. Basically look, saying that, you know, Christopher Tufton look like one of them ribbies type of sugar daddy there. Um, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaican Twitter is a mess. Anyway, Burritos, let me know what you thought about these two photographs. Sound off below. Right about now, it's time for well the big up segment. Well done. Well done. Sing along. Well then. Big up the All right, so first up, I have to go and big up Lila IK on her big bad album that is called The Experience. Boy, Lila, she is such a talent, such an amazing talent. She's also a Berita as well. She did tell me last last week on Twitter, so she did watch the countdown so that this make me feel really good. And Berita's, if you don't know about the artist here, please go look her up. You can't be missing out on them good quality music here. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Also, I'm going to big up my YouTube colleagues, my YouTube co-workers, Yadman Eaton and Trouble Link TV on attaining 40,000 subscribers on their YouTube channels. Also, I'm going to big up Big Bad Producer Bobby Digital. He passed away recently. And, you know, you have to just big up this man's legacy and his contribution to the reggae slash dancehall industry. And also, I'm going to big up the Beridas. I'm going to big up every time because, honestly, it is my birthday, but, like, I, most of the times, sometimes I feel very low. I want to watch my videos and support me. Like, it makes me feel really, really good but still I'm gonna reach you as many comments as I can sometimes I reply I get caught up because I honestly appreciate hearing from you because I have so many things and distractions in a life and the fact that you actually take some time out on the day for watching my long ass videos them me I feel appreciate it and so like it means a lot so big up Uno and I just hope say, the rest of the year will just be excellent it will be very spirit filled it will be very rewarding for Uno just ignore all of this like a COVID mess me just know the things that will go on for Uno because Uno say very so me have to tell you okay all right <laughs> And okay, so some time ago I talked about creating a WhatsApp group. So what I'm going to do right now is, you know, I think I'm going to have like a hundred burritos, a part of that group. And I'm going to say I can manage, you know, more, but over time I'll add different, different people. So here's what, if you want to be a part of that WhatsApp group, all you have to do is to just send me an email to Dutty Berry Show with your name, the country where you come from, and your number. And in a group there, I just want it to be like a real, the people who really, really rock with the social media countdown and the Dutty Berry Squad, like I just want to be like a family inside there. And over the course of time, me allow more people, but I want a nice little burrito gang where I can kind of show a little behind the scenes things if you're a YouTube as a part of too. I can give one and two little advice and stuff, and we can talk in there, but I just want a family, an exclusive family. So email me, DuttyBerryShow at gmail.com with your name, yeah, your age. To, um, your name, your age, and the country you come from, and that is it. So I'll be, you know, the first hundred of us. Uno, I should, should I say on Instagram as well? Yeah, on Instagram as well, because someone is so only you can shoot me the, the messages on Instagram as well at Dotty Berry Show. And for the people who do watch last week and support the countdown, there is full of feature coming telling us. So when you watch, record myself, tag me on Instagram, and I'll post, um, post a few of you in the social media countdown the following week. So here are the ones that I'm selected. Number four, naturalista vendor. Me Irish mash. Okay, so boy, Jamaican people always a host. That is one thing with the Jamaican spirit. Anywhere we can get a little sale, we will uh, go there and find some customers. So, anti who? So, I saw this video now. I don't remember where exactly, which one of the social media platform they may find the video here. But me her find it, founded it. And it, it, it showed a, a, a brother, this vendor, walking around with, you know, female things are all kind of natural juice and products. But what made it so interesting and so funny is not the fact that him just sell some, you know, some good, you know, good strong back juice. It's the fact of how he did that communicate while selling it and I give the details. Details of each drink. Pre! Yeah, I start from the spirulina. Spirulina, build up your confidence, kill cancer cell. Build up immune system, lower cholesterol, lower blood pressure. Stimulate the movements of the sex life. Make when you wake up a man, take care of your belly, have the fire inside the boy, look so much for your eye. <laughs> All right. We are working with the book up in here you now. See the book up in here? This is when you put one wet rock on your man in time, it just tastes and hang down. All in water come out of this well said, we have people up on top of it a ball. <laughs> See, it, this is nearly okra tuna coconut water. This is good for back pain, giant pain, poor blood circulation, arthritis, build up sperm count. Make when you leg of water in a whole world flood out. <laughs> oh my god. See, it, yeah. this is an Irish mash and beetroot, sunflower seed and pumpkin seed. So, this is good for the back and good for the <laughs> Beetroot, and the straight blood cleanser, this. If you have anything in your blood, this take out it. Health over wealth and juice over rum. God, no, the boy is hard. I swear. Oh, I eat that. I eat that? Yeah. That are the, the peanut sauce of pearl of blood, Miss Jane Road, Ramon. Marenge, molasses, noon, shea, mama, can do the gun. This is the spirulina. That's the 12 days. Hell to over well, choose to over rum. Yeah, man, this is all the natural juice, man. Any diabetic, any poor blood circulation, any arthritis, any pressure patient. See it, you really love the work up in her. That means when she go home and put on her back, she feel for. If she a wine and stuff, it makes you go right round. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Where's that one on the boss? I the book up in a man. I book up in a. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah.
<laughs> Round of applause for this man. But come and know the brother that swat the speech there. If you can't tell me say he never swat the speech there, I know exactly how he might distribute it when he meet the people them out the road. Now that was excellently done. Big you up and people anywhere you see, make sure you say support this budding entrepreneur. Okay, very does let me know which one of the drink them you feel you don't want. Me want to hear in the comments hard now. Okay, why why me attack so and a time for the vice that yet berry. Come on, man. Oh, ah, ooh, ooh, family guy moment. Spongebob moment. Ten years later. Ah, ah. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I know, check out the random video of the week. Number three, L.A. Louis Science. Science again, science again, hobakaya, hobakaya, science again. Oh no. LA Lewis, like honestly, every time I think so, LA Lewis just like gone one side and he just not hear none from him. There he goes. He just pops up. You know, like when you drop a piece, piece of cake on the ground and no answer what they did and just find a way for us dig through the concrete. That is LA Lewis. <coughs> I open a corona. Mm -mm. And to who? So LA Lewis, you know, I guess posted this video with him seemingly seemingly looking as if he were at a hobby yard. Um uh, you know what? I'm gonna have nothing to say, but just pray. Them, tell the people about Joe Wallness, so you never know nothing what it was going on. Sure. It was a misled on Joe Wallness. Ladies and sure. gentlemen, if you shall not do it on Joe Wallness, you shall not win another election. Peter Phillips, they take the money. The doctor said Peter Phillips take the money, but you see the reason blue are there. The doctor said Peter Phillips take the money from Bill Gates to keep silent. And Joe Wallace collect the money from the Secretary of State for them for keep for keep. Yes, dear guy, I ever feel the spirits and them say. Um, 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 LA, um, I, listen, the, the, I, you, here's what, I will not say anything, I will refrain from saying anything because just, you know, just how, um, I'm not really sure the strips or understand, um, so, you know, I, I am, yeah, 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 do you, do you, LA Lewis, do, do, do you, um, so now in the comment section down below, what you thought of this display of, um, of Patrickness. Sound off below. Number two, quarantine schooling. Me lunchtime. <laughs> you know, I'm really hungry now that I mentioned lunchtime. So, into who? So, this video, now, I do not know if it's Jamaican, but I really care about my things in the video. Just shell, shell, shell. So, I have to, you know, them people that write O F T O. So, I have to put it in the social media countdown. If you write O F T O, let me just educate you. I'm going to make fun of you. But it's, you, you should really say have to. So, H A V E, have to. Not really have to. Okay, because sometimes I'm going to put it in the caption. And we know sometimes that innocent mistake, I just never know. So, like, me, I tell you right now because we know when you write it, sometimes people look at you and laugh. Laugh at you in a them. They never correct you. Because they know why you feel bad, but I laugh after you in your head, like, say, you can't read that right. So, me, I tell you right now, so you know the little strips, and nobody can feel like they're more than you again. Okay? So it is have to, not off to. Okay? That's all. Hence who? So, um, this brother now, he was, he, he was home, I guess, you know, in the middle of the whole quarantine thing. So he might have to go up on Zoom for him, like schooling. And this youth is just utterly fed up. And he decided to just start to take on the spirit of a minister of the gospel to show how much he disapproves of having to be stuck around his computer screen. Take a look. Uh, trying to get the education, uh, trying to learn knowledge that you might not even use. Uh, but that's okay, uh, because I'm required. Can I get a witness if you say I'm required? 
good. So watch it. I'm gonna reload the page and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Let's see, I'm on lesson 105, and it's playing, and it's playing, and it's playing, and it's playing. So what God telling you to do your work? And it's playing, no, he's still telling me to take a break. You see how he paused it? No, you, you paused, paused it. it. I didn't pause You nothing. paused it. You better do your schoolwork. I didn't pause it. Oh, no, he just paused it, he just paused it, he just paused it, he just paused it. He I need you to stop putting stuff on God, God, then pause it. Yeah, ma. Get over there and do your work. Mama. Ramon. You no, know, I don't want to do the work. <laughs> you gotta do that doggone work. You know, I don't want to do the work. Because God is doing the work in me. How am I supposed to be doing the work when he's working in me? I need to rest so he has a stable foundation to upgrade on. How when I'm moving, how am I going to get upgrades? When a car is getting upgraded, it's in a garage and it's standing still. <laughs> You can't tell me so the brother in a God church every single Saturday or Sunday. Me no know, like honestly, like look how the brother just naturally have the little pastoral vice. Like it, it, it in our DNA. His him father is a pastor? Him father is a minister of the minister of the gospel. No, something has to be so. Or if, if that's not the case, the brother just talented. This youth is just talented and he needs to be doing some sort of acting or some sort of drama, somewhere, shape, or form. But honestly, the whole entire thing was just like so funny. Like the fact that he came up with some of these things to say, like off, off the top of my head, you can't just know that he is witty, like. I wonder, it probably just have to be a Gemini. Like, maybe a pre, you know, like, maybe he's a Gemini. And if he's not a Gemini, then he should have been a Gemini. And I'm mad that they just kind of hold him back and probably make him Lego in a Taurus. No, no. <laughs> but anyway, my readers, what was your favorite line from what, what um, he said? Sound up below. And number one goes to. The Beanie Man and Bounty Killer versus Battle. Woo! My word, my sentence, my paragraph, my essay, my bibliotheque. Oh my gosh. So let us talk about how I done a video some time ago. If you haven't seen it, you can just look on it right here. I like a quick look review of the Beanie Man and versus Beanie Man and Bounty Killer versus Battle. When a bad man then can't dress it up. Good better dress it up. Never let it dress it up. But he ready to kill off the wall of them. So no sir. Say them that they dress him up. Be gone for sir. Call me the middle of your mouth. Your son for sir. Okay, let me just tell you. That moment will go down in dancehall Jamaican history. It was an epic showing of how talented these two individuals are. No, me and them people, they know who I've gone to a couple of stage shows and I've seen Bone, Bone Tequila and Beanie Man sharing the stage together. But it's like one of them things there where every time you see it, you're still like in awe. Like no matter how much time you see it, time and time again, you still want broken neck and see them do the same thing over and over again. And this time, like, I, I just feel say right now, they should just do a giant album because the type of, the type of energy and synergy that they have it is just it is it is just like a marketing win it is a marketing win um let me just start off now like people are talking about like who win the clash like me don't have my favorite already if you don't know you have to go watch the review when me do me basically think who did end up win but let me just say like being a man yet nobody can go around your hits them nobody cannot go around your hits but you said pan that day i think the smart thing that bounty killer did it was to kind of move the battle outside of the outside of the the versus concept in terms of you drop a song and you drop a song. But I feel like say bounty killer did know. So probably you know if you got like a hit for it here, being you end up win. So many for level the playing field now and kind of key our things into the look of Jamaican dynamic where we just like go on like say a sting with it. So I felt that that was very smart from the killer's part. And that the kind of sidetrack bounty um beanie man, you know, because beanie man does say like, oh now change rules and all like things there. Um, because apparently initially it was said said they weren't supposed to plan and do all of them things there. But killer killer the war lad. And you know, like in a war, no matter if you and your opponent like make like an agreement when it comes down to the war there. If you have one extra stash of gun and them look something there, I just saw the war set. You have, to, you have to pop out all your ammunition because you're prepared for any, anything. And that is what Bounty Killer did, which Beanie Man just like him probably does and go by the regular concepts so and that they kind of throw him off. But him catch it back and hold him on and definitely showcase like why these two men are like dancehall icons and legend like Bounty. Bounty, 
I knew so bounty did witty from morning, but like that night was just like, eh, need to take up on career, career on Instagram. Because, because if bounty get a start, take up like IG comedy type of thing, me not think nobody else have the more no, no more video like to get on Instagram. So you that pull up the record. Hold on, I I just got to big up Riri. She's on the live. Yeah. Riri, you see me, me. Yo. And Beanie, calm down, calm down, we we, she see we we. And then you have the, the the whole conversation talking about Beanie Man's belly, the gut to him having front time. Mr. Crystal put out on her page, so she's going to ensure that he gets um gets the same trainer where Elephant Man have, so that Beanie Man now have the like a belly problem because there were so every single video where everyone of the comedian them do, I talk about Beanie Man belly. <laughs> So that meme that became the bounty killer what? Do you mad man? Be the man a bad man? Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Are they saying that? Are they saying that? I mean, I know that the, the little walk off then like that, 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 that viral right now. Like honestly, that will be the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> All of this now, can you believe that one little feud must have broke out on Twitter between some of the small islands? I remember if it was St. Lucia or wherever against Jamaicans and somebody, you know, one of them that have mentioned about the Jamaican dollar. I think somebody had said that Jamaica needs to put the same energy um, where we're having a versus battle with the whole, with our whole handling of the COVID situation. I know so the Jamaican people never did that take too kind of that. So we ran into that conversation and start to like done them with our tweets them back left, right and center. But at the end of the day, I have to tell you, no, let's all be just one Caribbean. Yeah, we can't bother with the whole of this whole entire mess. <laughs> I know what's so great about it, like both of the artists them had so many songs how them could have pulled on and they didn't. I never hear Bounce Killer drop the Hey Baby with him and No Doubt. Um, I never hear Feel It Boy with, with Beanie Man and Janet Jackson. Like they had so many other songs them could have really touched on, but they didn't. And that for sure show you how impressive their catalog is. Like the police moment, boy, oh boy, I'm not say about that. 500,000 people watching us right now all over the world. Do you want to be that guy? Do you, do you want to be this guy? I feel it was the best versus battle that has been done. I've looked at the, the baby face one, I look on the, the Nelly and the, um, the Ludacris one, and this. This is what a battle is supposed to be. When I say it have to be like a Jamaican sting clash type of vibe, you know. But in terms of two artists really like having a friendly rivalry and kind of facing off with each other's songs in a very entertaining and lively way. Not like a laid back, like a Sunday evening, like a boring yan yan type of settings. This is what the versus battle should have been from um, to begin with. So I honestly do not know how Swiss beats are really top this, but it's going to be very difficult. Whew. But anyhow, let me know what you thought of the battle and who you felt in your opinion one and what was your favorite moment from the versus matchup okay well that is it for the birthday edition of my social media account down i hope that you enjoyed it if you did please to hit the thumbs up button mm -hmm. may i wait for you hit the thumbs up button as well as to turn on the post notification so that you can be aware whenever i post a video mm -hmm. also to leave a comment down below let me know what was your favorite part of the countdown and to share the video so that more people can see and be you know introduced to the dutty bear show channel also if you want to follow me on my social media it is dutty bear show on facebook instagram twitter snapchat tiktok if you want to advertise within the social media countdown just to send me an email to dutty bear show at gmail Dot com. Okay, that is it. Thanks for the birthday messages. Peace out, burritos, and do enjoy um, the rest of your day, the rest of your week. Mm -hmm. Peace out. Oh, and remember that my vlog channel, I'm going to be starting my vlog channel at the beginning of this month so that you can go and subscribe to my vlog channel from um, right now. Okay, I'm going to put it in the description. Okay, peace out, burritos. <laughs> The dusty or the berry, yeah, the juicy or the scoop. All the things are going on, it missing on the news. Tell your sister and your auntie said the corner coming soon. All the drama where you want, you for tuning to the youth.